He is known for his contributions to classical music as an American composer and pianist. He was recognized for his prodigious talent at an early age and his ability to blend diverse musical traditions. His name is Louis Moreau Gottschalk. In the vibrant city of New Orleans, a musical prodigy was born. Louis Moreau Gottschalk, with his half-siblings and loving family, grew up surrounded by the rich sounds of diverse musical traditions. His talent on the piano was evident from an early age, and he quickly gained recognition from the New Orleans bourgeois establishment. At just 13 years old, Gottschalk and his father embarked on a journey to Europe, realizing that a classical training was necessary to fulfill his musical ambitions. However, the Paris Conservatoire rejected his application solely based on his nationality, deeming America as a country of steam engines. Determined to break barriers, Gottschalk found his way into the musical establishment through family friends. His early compositions, such as Bambula and La Savani, showcased his true American identity, incorporating the legacy of slave music into a romantic music context. These compositions were groundbreaking, serving as precursors to jazz and introducing Louisiana Creole music to the classical music culture. Gottschalk's exceptional talent did not go unnoticed. After a mesmerizing performance at the Sal Playo, renowned composers Frederick Chopin, Franz Liszt, and Charles Valentin Alcan recognized his extraordinary abilities. With their encouragement, Gottschalk returned to the United States in 1853 and embarked on extensive travels. His journey took him to Cuba, Central and South America, and eventually Puerto Rico. It was in Puerto Rico that he composed Souvenir de Puerto Rico, Marque de Jabaros, inspired by the vibrant music of the island. The composition, dedicated to the Puerto Rican peasantry known as Hibaros, featured a march tune that may have been based on a Puerto Rican folk song form. During his travels, Gottschalk found time to rest in New Jersey and New York City. It was there that he crossed paths with notable figures in the art world, including sculptor Erastus Dow Palmer, composer George William Warren, and landscape painter Frederick Edwin Church. Church, who had also explored Latin America, received a dedication from Gottschalk in the form of a mazurka poetique. In return, Church gifted Gottschalk a small landscape painting. Their connection possibly led to a collaboration with Warren on the piano piece, The Andes, Marque de Bravura, inspired by Church's painting, The Heart of the Andes. By the 1860s, Gottschalk had become the most renowned pianist in the New World. Born and raised in New Orleans, he proudly represented his city and his country through his music. Despite facing challenges and rejection, Gottschalk's determination and talent allowed him to break barriers and make a lasting impact on the field of music. His compositions not only showcased his unique American identity but also laid the foundation for future musical genres. Louis Moreau Gottschalk, a legendary figure in the world of music, will forever be remembered for his innovative and influential contributions. Louis Moreau Gottschalk, a prolific composer of the 19th century, left an indelible mark on the world of classical music. His compositions were not only popular during his lifetime but also created a sensation in Europe. His earliest works, such as Bambola, La Savani, Lo Bananier, and Lo Mansonilier, captured the essence of his Louisiana upbringing and are considered some of the earliest examples of Creole music in classical culture. Hashtag continue hashtag one of Gottschalk's notable achievements was the 13-minute opera Sheena's Campesters, which garnered praise for its unique blend of melodies and rhythmic patterns. This composition showcased Gottschalk's ability to transport listeners to the vibrant landscapes of his youth. Additionally, Gottschalk incorporated the Bambula theme as a melody in his Symphony No. 1, A Night in the Tropics, further showcasing his mastery of musical storytelling. Hashtag continue hashtag sadly, many of Gottschalk's compositions were lost or destroyed after his death, leaving behind a void in the preservation of his musical legacy. However, musicologist Richard Jackson took it upon himself to compile and publish a collection of Gottschalk's piano music in 1973. Jackson's efforts not only brought Gottschalk's works back into the spotlight but also organized an exhibition at the New York Public Library, celebrating the composer and his contributions to the world of music. Hashtag continue hashtag Louis Moreau Gottschalk's compositions continue to captivate audiences with their rich melodies and evocative narratives. His ability to fuse classical elements with the spirit of Louisiana's Creole culture set him apart as a unique and influential composer. Despite the loss of some of his works, his surviving compositions and the efforts of musicologists like Richard Jackson ensure that Gottschalk's contributions to classical music will forever be remembered and cherished. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.